Hi, my name is Eitan and I'm CIA Systems uh, Applications Manager uh, for all the different equipment here. Uh, today we're going to review CI's black body controllers, which are 7 uh, SR800N series uh, controllers and black bodies. Our black body, there are many different configurations of black bodies. Some are standalone, some are configured in, into our collimator based systems or test benches, and some are semi uh, standalone where they have a black body and a, an external uh, target wheel, what we call a RAD. Um, today, so today we're going to review the uh, black body with a RAD controller uh, built into it. The controller controls many different types of wheels or stages too. Included in our, in our uh, package when we deliver a black body is a quick reference guide. It's a two-page uh, summary of the operation of the uh, controller. The first thing that we have to do, of course, is connect the cables, uh, and they're well defined and identified. And then we, once we connect the power to the output, we turn on the power to the black body, and you can see that it goes through the power up sequence. The head is turning on, the fan is on, and if we have a target wheel connected, you'll see it turning, doing its power up sequence. Uh, ba basically, there's a built-in test or bit that we have that's continuously running, checking that everything is uh, operational. And if there is an error, it'll, it'll, dis it'll, be a p it'll appear on the uh, display. Okay, once we've powered up the black body controller, uh, the main display is shown, and this is a touch panel display, and it's fairly relatively simple to operate the black body. In the middle here, we see the current temperature, and depending on the mode of the black body, it can work either in absolute mode or differential mode. Uh, we, we can set the temperature, uh, the desired temperature. So if we tap on this, uh, on the center, where the, uh, where the black body temperature is, or the emitter temperature, we, can, we get a keyboard where we can enter the temperature. So let's say we want to go to 2.5 degrees, or 25 degrees in this case. The black body is now, you see the set point to 25, and the black body is going to stabilize at that temperature. And we can see this little D here representing that it's in differential mode. So you can change that. If, and, we, and we need to wait, or it'll take a few minutes, or depending on the temperature you want to set to stabilize. In the meantime, on the bottom uh, line, we have the control for the different the target wheels, other source, the source stage, or any other kind of motion control that we have connected to the system. And if we want to change the target, you can take, you can click on here, and you have a list of targets that are in the system. We can select the different targets here. In this case, if I wanted to select a step target, you can hear the controller. Uh, or the target wheel rotates. In the meantime, the black body is still stabilized. You can see there's a little uh, sundial uh, where you're waiting for it to stabilize. Um, let's see. We can, and on the top, there are other functions that we can use. You can look at the info button, and this gives us the, <coughs> the current uh, serial number and the serial numbers of the sensors, the probes that are in the system. You have two probes for differential black body, um, one in the emitter and one in the, on the target wheel. And if we go back to the home or the main window, we have access to other sub uh, menus here, which I'll briefly review with you. Um, the first one is called the black body configuration. If we tap on it, we can change the, the way the black body uh, represents its uh, temperature. We can work either in absolute or differential mode. We can add a fixed radiometric offset if we need. Um, we can work in the Celsius and Kelvin. Uh, and, and also, we have on the front panel a, a two arrows where we can set the, the uh, set point increment that we want to use. Once we're finished, let's say changing the, the mode, we need to save, set up, and then go back to the main window. So this is the black body configuration. If we want to go to advanced configuration, we click on, we tap on advanced configuration. Here we can change the resolution, the display resolution, and the stabilization window. Uh, if we go back, 
Oh, this is an important window. It's called the communication settings. If you want to connect this to our computer, you can either work RS-232 or uh, LAN. So you can work DHCP when it's set to automatically uh, select an IP address or set a static IP with the uh, IP address and the mask. Again, if you want, you need to save. There are other options such as GPIB, but this is uh, beyond the scope of this uh, little uh, uh, review. Okay, I didn't save anything or change anything. Go back to the main window. Okay, if we want to change or upgrade the software, the firmware, or change or replace uh, our target our target reference sensors or target or emitter reference sensors, we click on the upgrade software uh, sensor. And here, you need to do what you need to do is you get uh, periodically, uh, or when you purchase the upgrade kit, you get a little pen drive or a disk on key, which you would insert here, and then you would click on the upgrade button here, and then it would prompt you to do the upgrade process. And if you're going to be replacing the, the target sensor, it'll show you, uh, you'll select the target sensor and you do, and it'll update the, the serial number, etc. It'll prompt, either it'll prompt you or you'll have to enter the serial number. Yeah. Once it's finished, you go back home or reboots uh, and everything is done. Again, let's just review uh, how the operation and you can see the target wheel turning. If you select the target here from the uh, menu, we select, let's say, the square target. You can see that the target wheel is turning and will stabilize at the correct position. Um, we have other uh, menus which are which can be used. You can add, you can add a preset. You add a preset, you just need to tap or long tap to define the preset. We tap on it here. You can define the okay. settings. Let's say the target wheel temperature and the, and the, and mode of operation. You save and go back to home, and then you have a different uh, preset built into the system. Um, and so, uh, for some systems, this is usually a system-based. Uh, operation where you have I.O. where you can control some outputs. This is more of a system-based uh, uh, control and may not be uh, useful for your uh, application. Um, again, these two buttons here are based on what you set in, in the, in the sub-menu and the settings and each press will move up or down based on the step size that you had selected. It'll go either up or down. The black body also stabilizes. Once it's stabilized, it'll give you an indication, as you hear right now, double beep. That means that it's within the stabilization window. Thank you.